We're back, and we're going to talk some rap. Hey, all right, so KMR, thank you everyone for watching the videos, talking Rotary, enjoying the channel. Um, it's really just my hope that I can discuss some of these topics and bring some of the information that we have at Mazda Tricks and KMR um, to a little bit more readily available format. So continuing now for the third day, Apex Seal Discussion. Welcome back to the channel, KMR. So the Apex Seal topic has actually uh, been, I think, really beneficial to the channel. We've been covering some great information, um, the difference between 2 millimeter, 3 millimeter, um, some of the different Apex Seals available, why we modify RX-8 rotors for RX-7 seals when we're putting them against RX-7 rotor housings. And uh, a really good question came in on yesterday's video, and the question was, what type of apex seal would I run or would I recommend in a street-driven or more OEM-based Mazda RX-8? So we're talking about more of a stock configuration Renesis motor. Maybe the motor's got some porting. Maybe... Uh, you know, you've done some, some light modifications, exhaust, flywheel, cooling upgrades, things that would still put the car in the light performance modification and street driven or sometimes tracked category. We're not talking about a boosted or aftermarket computer or hybrid setup. We're talking about OEM based configurations. And uh, when we're talking about the OEM RX-8, I know it's got a bad rap, but I think they're actually a really fantastic car. And even though the motor is prone to carbon buildup and it's not everyone's favorite because it is a side port, uh, generally through KMR and Mazda Tricks, we see most Renesis motors uh, ranging from about an 80,000 mile to 120,000 mile lifespan. And so that means the OEM Apex seal that Mazda produced generally lasts that long, provided the rest of the motor is properly taken care of. You don't overheat, you don't starve it for oil, um, and you don't put bad fuel in there. General killers. But it really brings up an interesting thing. You know, the OEM Apex seal, even though they do shatter, um, in a naturally aspirated street driven mild performance you know hot rodding around having a good time is probably the best seal available i know it's probably hard to believe there's so many good seals out there we talk about them all the time but most of your aftermarket seals serve more of a modified or specific purpose when you get into ceramic seals like we covered they're derived from mazda speed uh le mans racing and mazda's IMSA background. The ceramic seals are great in the right application, can potentially last, outlast anything, um, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend them in a street car. We generally use ceramic seals in touring cars, high-end naturally aspirated builds, and they are one of the few seals that is available in a RX-8 beam height. Um, even though those are RX-7 seals displayed right there, you can special order uh, via Mazda Tricks, KMR, Mazda Speed, Ceramic RX-8 seals. Um, and we do have a customer successfully running a Renesis build in, I think it's U.S. Touring Car. And uh, he finished on the podium and he's running ceramic seals. Um, we did not modify them to RX-7 depth because he did opt for ceramic RX-8 seals, which would be probably, in his case, the best choice available. Now, if you're going boosted... Um, if you're going NOS, if you're going power adder, supercharger, um, then the Renesis motor or any motor might be more prone to detonation and you might be running more exotic fuels and the expected lifespan is probably less than 80 to 120,000 miles, in which case then I would jump to most aftermarket steel seals like ENJs, I rotary E and J being my preference, but there's a lot of other good seals out there. Power Seal. Um, I'm not going to go through all the names. Do your research, but 
check out um, all of those options out there because they do serve a purpose in high performance and modified engines, um, especially the seals that don't shatter um, like some of the ones we've talked about. But then that's not what you're trying to prevent. That's not what's going to make the general RX-8 engine last longer in OEM configuration. RX-8 motors are prone to carbon buildup, uh, side seal uh, fatigue and binding, um, and sticking of seals, most of which is not related to the seal material being improper or bad, but related to the side port design, um, dirty fuels, lack of oil changes, uh, premix helps, but really uh, the motors are prone to carbon buildup and they do wear. So when you take apart a motor that's got 80,000 miles, 100,000 miles, 120,000 miles on it, all of your moving parts, seals, springs, gaskets need to be replaced. So when you're doing a rebuild and you're building an OEM RX-8, you're restoring an RX-8, you're, you're bringing it close to OEM trim back to life, I 100% recommend the OEM Mazda Apex seal. Um, it's a two-piece design. Um, and in a naturally aspirated configuration, street-driven, light performance, some mild track days is going to be your best choice for reliability, um, overall total mileage, and component wear um, protection. The OEM Apex seal in OEM trim has some of the better wear characteristics as where some of your aftermarket seals are a little more aggressive on wear. So if you're looking for reliability, mileage, and just a good brapping time, rebuild your Renesis motor with quality OEM parts. If you need a parts list, if you need a rotor kit, if you're looking for OEM seals or more information in general, feel free to message me or message Mazda Tricks, um, and we'll continue to discuss these topics, and we'll continue to try to put more videos out on our KMR YouTube channel. So I think that is about a brap. To sum it up, if you're boosted, uh, run a non-breakable seal. If you're a touring car or IMSA car, probably go ceramic in naturally aspirated trim. And if you're OEM, right now, one of the best options available without getting exotic um, is going to be your OEM Mazda Apex seal. Believe it or not, but basically, RX-8s are not a Apex seal shattering or breaking car. They are a motor that simply wears out. Um, usually due to heat and maintenance. So take care of your RX-8s, step up that maintenance, and happy to chat on the channel more. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching KMR.